well to have I fly some we fly you around the world in your personal private jet. Today we begin the world tour at the southernmost point in New Zealand. I am your pilot to take you and your jet on this world tour of the most beautiful and magnificent places on earth. Today our journey takes us on a breathtaking tour of New Zealand's southernmost wonders starting from the rugged isolation of Stewart Island, soaring over the majestic southern Alps, flying down the famous and serene Milford Sound to the west coast of the South Island, and finally crossing back over the awe-inspiring Southern Alps to land in the adventure capital of New Zealand, Queenstown. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're off on the first flight of our world tour in your private jet. And uh, your private jet is a Cirrus Vision Jet. We're starting at the bottom of the world, really. We're starting at the bottom of New Zealand, actually below the bottom of New Zealand in a way. There's an island at the bottom of New Zealand called Stewart Island. We're starting at a little runway here called Ryan's Creek. Now it's really short and it's actually too short for your jet, but listen, we're going to give it a go. The shortest runway that we fly on uh, in the whole tour around the world. Around the world we're going to go around New Zealand, Australia, uh, Southeast Asia, Asia, Europe, Africa, the Americas, including North, South, the Caribbean, uh, Central America, right around to uh, to Russia and down through China, back down through Southeast Asia, then through the um, through the islands, Pacific Islands, and back to New Zealand. I mean, in all, this could take a couple of years, right? But um, you've got you don't need to work. You've retired. You've made a lot of money, and I'm your pilot. So grab your glass of champagne and let's get going. Now, like I said, this is a short runway, so, you know, fingers crossed that this whole journey might kind of end up a bit shorter than, uh, than we hoped. <laughs> if we don't make it, let's see. Okay, so let's go. We're off. Grab your glass of champagne. You're good back there? Nice. Have a look out the window. Lovely. And uh, off we go. Power up. Flaps. We'll put the flaps on full. We're going to need them. And hem parking brake off, and brake, parking brake off, and off we go. Like I said, this is going to be tight. This whole trip might end a lot sooner than we hoped. Instead of a couple of years, we might be looking at a few minutes. But let's go. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? I'm going to pull back. Come on, let's go. Get this puppy up here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God, we made it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The flaps up. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, just made it. Wow, okay. Woo. We're away. Off and laughing. And, uh, New Zealand Center, WTFS there's a view of the window there. Jet, SF 51 Hope miles you were good. Southwest of November Zulu, Romeo, Charlie, 600 feet. Uh, Request there we flight go. following. WTFS 1 New Zealand Center. Swap tree 734. Swap 373 for WTFS-1 radar contact. So we'll stick it on the uh, autopilot. November Zulu, Romeo, Charlie, 1,600 feet. Uh, Alpha got an airplane autopilot. No, this puppy should work. Roger, WTFS-1. That's a general idea. There we go. Banking off. Loving it. Beautiful. So we're off and, off and running. So time to look around a bit. Yes, it's Stewart Island. Um, like I said, it's an island at the bottom of the South Island of New Zealand. And it's got quite a lot of Kiwis. It's well known for its Kiwis. But not many people live on Stewart Island because it's pretty cold. Now look at those beautiful beaches, but yeah, the water's freezing. Um, and look at all that. Uh, we don't call it jungle down here. We call it, um, well, it's just forest or bush. Um, but uh, a lot of Kiwis in that bush tons of them and quite a few other uh, rare New Zealand birds as well so we're going from as you can see in the map there we're going from Stewart Island over to the uh, southern Alps uh, to the mountains and we're going to get a Milford Sound Milford Sound is an extremely popular uh, tourist destination uh, basically there are fjords that are cut into the into the mountains by the were cut into the mountains by glaciers uh, millions of years ago just like in uh, just like in Norway 
And there's one particular sound called Milford sound that's extremely picturesque. And just take a look around. Oh, look at that. Another beautiful beach. Gorgeous. And there's the mainland. We're going towards the mainland there. Of New Zealand. Loving it. Cool. Here we are, coming into the South Island. The town in front of us is a uh, small city called Invercargill. Um, someone will correct me, but I think it's got about 30,000 people. Pretty small town, but it's got a, an aluminum smelter off to the right. Anyway, you're not here to see aluminum smelters. So now we're coming into Manapuri, um, which is a large lake and there's a dam there. Just hop back in the plane and uh, give a bit of a Bit of a look-see out the window. Um, you see the mountains in the distance. We will get a lot closer to those. And uh, it's pretty beautiful. It's quite beautiful. Uh, there aren't that many people in New Zealand, right? There are only five many people, and a large amount of them live in the North Island. The South Island has a lot of space. You were good back there? Your, uh, your partner's gone off to the bathroom? Yeah, we've got one in the back. Uh, can't see any chocolates there, sorry about that. Um, I'll have to sort that out. Okay. Coming into Milford Sound, this will be beautiful. Sensational. So the waterfall is coming down the hill, coming down the mountains. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at the ship down there. That long waterfall coming in. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving it. I hope that we clear that mountain. It looks pretty. Uh, looks pretty close. I think. a little bit off track with the autopilot. No, the autopilot's fine. It's just um, a bit higher than it should be. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Look at that. Good. Lovely. So now we're going up the coast. A little bit, then we're going to turn inland. We're going to go over the mountains. And we're going to land at Queenstown. Now, Queenstown is an extremely, extremely popular tourist destination. Along with Rotorua. Rotorua are probably, uh, they're probably the two um, most popular tourist destination, destinations for both foreigners and for New Zealand. So Queenstown, um, because of the skiing, that's very, probably more popular for New Zealanders than for Rotorua. Uh, it's got very good ski fields at Coronet Peak and at the Remichaels. And we'll, we'll, as we come into Queenstown, we'll have uh, the Remichaels on our right and Coronet Peak will be off in the distance to our, uh, to our left. We're turning in. Now we're cutting in here and land. Oh, gorgeous! Look at that. Beautiful. Not much surf today, though. You normally get really big surf on the west coast, but 
Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Just at 3,300 feet. It's climbing up to 7,500 feet. This is a pretty steep climb. Okay. Now we're going to Queenstown, obviously. It's just over the mountains. Over the mountains here, we're going to get to Lake Wakatipu, and at the end of Lake Wakatipu is uh, is Queenstown. Feel good back there? Lovely. And how's your how's your mate? All good? Nope. He or she is still in the bathroom. What's going on here? Um, maybe it's something they ate in Stewart Island. It wouldn't have been kiwi burgers, you can't have those. What a beautiful day. WTSS 1, you're leaving right airspace. Resume all navigation. Contact Queenstown Approach on 125.075. Good day. A beautiful day for flying down Lake Wakatipu, to Queenstown. But it's a pretty good look around the Milford Sounds. We had a pretty good look around the Milford. And look at that beautiful. That's actually where we're going, so we're going to be banking left very shortly. And there's the outskirts of Queenstown. It's getting pretty busy in uh, Queenstown. The houses are very expensive. It's actually got the highest average... Uh, just check the autopilot's on, which it is. It's actually got the hi oh, beautiful, we're turning, love it. It's got the highest average um, house price in New Zealand. Okay, this is a pretty good look at Queenstown. In front of us to the right, um, you've got the remarkable ranges. Pretty damn steep. try and come in a bit closer and um, we'll have a look at the gondola. There's a skyline gondola that uh, that goes up goes up the side of the hill goes up the side of the mountain here. You can see up the, see at the top on the left there's a little bit of a little brown patch. That's where the uh, that's where the gondola goes up to Yeah, it's pretty hard to see with the shadow, but it's a bit of a gondola there. Now it's going to come over this rise. Queenstown Tower WTFS-1 is four miles west, 1,700 feet with Charlie to land. A little bit close to the trees. Keep all the, keep the bottom of the aircraft clean. Okay, now we're coming into land. Um, Radio, let's get busy. Keep it pretty slow. Put the flaps up, the flaps down, sorry. Uh, flaps down. Put the landing gear down. The airport's at just over a thousand feet. So we're actually a lot closer to the ground that, than it looks like <coughs> based on the the airport's actually just over a thousand feet so we're actually uh, it says on the bottom right the altitude 1400 um, obviously that's above sea level but we're not that far above the above the ground here. Probably need to come up a little bit. Put a bit of power. Sorry, a bit of a bump. Not too bad. A little bit wiggly there. And there you have it, we're in Queenstown. 
Now, peeps, um, on the next trip, we're going to go past Mount Cook, the highest mountain in New Zealand, to Christchurch, uh, which is the largest city in the South Island. Look forward to seeing you then. Goodbye from Queenstown. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and visit our channel for more world tour flights.